Meghan Markle's podcast series has been held as the epitome of comedy gold by none other than Perez Hilton, the oracle of all things celebrity gossip in the United States. Meghan hobnobbing with the creme de la creme of Hollywood from Serena Williams to Mariah Carey. And let's not forget Constance Wu, the shining star of Crazy Rich Asians. But alas, all good things must come to an end, and so did Meghan's podcast deal with Spotify after just one run. Fear not, for Megan and a trusty sidekick Lemonada Media have teamed up once more for another season of what can only be described as pure auditory magic. Hilton told royal expert Kinsey Schofield on a YouTube series, Kinsey Schofield Unfiltered, that because of their link to the royal family, both Meghan and Prince Harry will have money thrown at them by Hollywood, even if they get dropped by Spotify. He said, they don't even have to try, they'll work in Hollywood, because Hollywood, like the rest of the world, is full of sheep. They'll want to align themselves with the British royal family. Harry's not a senior working royal anymore, but he's still the son of the king, and the brother of the future king. Money will always be thrown his way and his wife's way, even if they continue to be dropped by Spotify or dropped by Netflix after their new project fails to garner any viewership. Asked his opinion on Meghan's skills as a podcast host, Hilton said, I thought Archetypes was hilarious because she claims to be this champion of women and for the people, yet every guest it seemed like, if not every guest, then the overwhelming majority were celebrities. Why are you doing this thing about women and we're only hearing voices of the rich and famous? Archetypes released its first episode on Spotify in August 2022, following a multi-year deal between the Sussex's production company and the streaming giant. Guests included Sex in the City author Candice Bushnell, actor Jamelia Jamil, and Canada's first lady, Sophie Gregory Trudeau. Despite the show reaching number one on Spotify's podcast charts in 47 countries, Meghan, Harry and Spotify agreed to part ways in June, the following year after producing 12 episodes. In February, The Hollywood Reporter said that Meghan was to bring archetypes back, with Meghan Markle telling the same publication that she was proud to announce she was joining the brilliant team at Lemonada to continue her love of podcasting. She also said that it felt fantastic to start 2024 being able to support a company founded by women, which already had a number of thought-provoking podcasts. Megan added, I plan to re-release Archetypes with so more people can now have access to it, as well as launching a dynamic new podcast, is well in the works. I'm so eager to be able to share it soon, and I'm overjoyed to be joining the Lemonada family. It emerged in April that the release date of the new podcast was pushed back to next year to allow Megan to focus on a Netflix series about cooking, gardening and friendship. An unnamed source told the Daily Mail, the relaunch of Megan's Archetypes podcast got pushed back to 2025. Much of what Megan stated in Archetypes has been debunked, similar to claims made in the Oprah interview in the docuseries. The only reason significant money was thrown at Harry and Megan is because Hollywood sought insider information on the royal family. Since it's clear that Harry and Meghan can't deliver on this, the revenue stream will likely be short-lived. Without the connection to the royal family, the Sussexes lose much of their intrigue.